this is a special award uh, i would like to thank the jury and the indian express for this honor uh, honestly i feel overwhelmed and uh, emotional to receive this prestigious award especially because of the fact that uh, you know i've been selected for my work uh, in the category of uh, investigative journalism uh, this is undoubtedly one of my most significant events of my career as a journalist in 2013 14 uh, as a trainee at the indian express uh, uh, the muzaffarnagar communal rights was one of the first big assignments that i started reporting uh, for the newspaper uh, three years later in jan 27 i went back to muzaffarnagar and started uh, tracking the criminal trials of one of the deadliest riots in india during which i started to gather evidence on how men accused of serious charges of murder and gang rape were being acquitted uh, due to the glaring loopholes in the investigation conducted by the up police that's where it all started uh, then i started conducting investigation which spanned for almost 2 years from jan 2017 and jan 2019 and that's how you know we started uh, to look at this more seriously first uh, we need to understand that uh, you know the trials happened uh, in a district court in muzaffarnagar so uh, this this is uh, not like the the courts that we see in delhi so the first challenge was to access the documents you know especially the documents related to the gang rape cases uh, since we know that the rape cases are uh, in house uh, proceedings which which means that you know you cannot actually go inside the court to witness the trial so first was to access the documents itself it would take it would take days and sometimes weeks to get the official documents uh, of the criminal trials the second big challenge was of course you know the delay in the trial uh, the court would fix a certain date for conducting the trial but the defense used to keep asking for an other date uh, they used to keep using delaying tactics so i would have to travel from um, from delhi to muzaffarnagar you know every time court fixed a date and then you would come back because the the dates used to get delayed you would come back with nothing so almost 80% of the times that you have gone back to muzaffarnagar courts to access the trial or you know to get some documents you would come back with nothing so the second biggest challenge was the delay in the trial it would take weeks and months to you know actually get some concrete information on what was happening in those trials which can be actually reported third of course was the language you know all of the court proceedings all of the court records were in hindi this was a big big challenge the court record documents were in in, in hindi that was not you know uh, that easy to translate them into english and to then try to understand the glaring loopholes in the investigation especially you know the evidence related to the medical examination of gang rape uh, victims Uh, also uh, the evidence related to you know the murder weapons so this these are very technical documents uh, that uh, you know would 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 not be you know so easily to comprehend in uh, in in hindi and then to translate in english so the, the the third big challenge was of course the language which in fact you know we took almost few months to sort of uh, you know put it in excel sheet and uh, you know look at you know different categories of witnesses turning hostile murder uh, you know the murder victims you know how uh, what were they deposing uh, as well as you know the key uh, evidences related to the police as well as you know uh, the doctors who were deposing so all of them were in in hindi so translating them was a big challenge and to then uh, sort of put it in perspective uh, how uh, it was leading to the acquittals the day after the investigation you know there was a big uh, sort of a revelation how uh, the criminal justice system or india's criminal justice system had failed to provide justice to almost none of the victims of the india's most uh, deadly communal riots we are talking about uh, people uh, over 60 people who had died in this riots second you know we also showed that the state government even after the acquittals did not even appeal in the high court these documents then showed us that in none of these acquittals that the high court uh, the, the state government did not approach the high court to seek justice 
uh, for the victims, especially in cases of gang rape. Uh, it is very rare that in a rape trial, then the state which fights the case for the victim uh, does not appeal in the high court. So again, it sort of showed a prejudice uh, or the bias uh, in the system of how these trials were uh, taking place in Uttar Pradesh. Third and most importantly, the investigation revealed both through the interviews that we did over uh, a, a span of six months as talking to the victims as well as the investigation officers, uh, how witness protection to the victims in rights during the trial is completely compromised in the country, you know. Uh, we are talking about relatives, your mo the mother, the wife, uh, uh, the sons, all of them turning hostile in the court saying that they did not see anything. In fact, the FIR states otherwise. So, you know, uh, they were all intimidated. You know, there were serious uh, charges of intimidation in the courts uh, placed by the victims. But uh, the courts did nothing. And this ensured that the people charged of serious offenses like murder and gang rape walk free in the Muzaffar Nagar trials.